Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this graphical abstract in really simple and easy steps. So for your ease, I've divided all the things that we are going to need to make that graphical abstract. One is this ribbon, then the second one is a circle, third one is this fire, and then these small objects which I will create in Microsoft PowerPoint in easy and simple steps. Let's get started. In order to make this ring, we are just going to go to the next slide and remove all the unnecessary data that we have then go to the shapes option and then take a circle with another semicircle which is hollow so for example i'm going to draw this one here reduce the inner radius and then i'm going to simply place it here i'm going to make it a bit smaller so that can easily fit everything inside and then after that i'm going to copy this again and paste it inside and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can make a ribbon inside the uh inside inside this hollow uh, sphere so i'm just going to quickly increase the thickness for so that i can have a width of the shape and now i'm going to start working on this part so i'm going to make it zero fail no fail and i'm going to make it black and then i'm going to go into the insert options shapes and then i'm going to take this arc curve okay so once i select this one i'm going to start from here one by one i'm going to make these uh spirals here uh, if you want to make more spirals, it's up to you. So as many spirals that you have is more good for you. I'm going to quickly make all these spirals up to, up to the way till the end. And I'm going to show you the final version. So guys, as you can see, that I'm trying to be inside this semicircle. And I'm trying to make sure that once I'm done, I'm going to connect with my last line, which is this one. And then I'm going to connect them. And you can see that this appears like a colored shape. So once I'm done with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put an outline to this one and say no fail. So once I select no fill, it will look somehow like this. Now I will simply connect the outer circle and say that I don't want to, I don't, I want to have a fill, but uh, red colored and I don't want any outline for that fill. So I'm just going to select no outline. Let's just select the color for the outer fill a little bit darker. Now the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the inner circle that I use as a reference to make the spiral. Okay. So now you can see that your spiral is the inside. If you want, you can reduce the size of the spiral a little bit and then place it here. Now, the thing we are going to do, the next part is, is increase its thickness. So double click on this file and this shape, go to shape format, click over here and then go to the line options and make it 10. Once you make it 10, it looks too big. So what you can do is reduce the size according to the size of your shape or your graphical abstract that you require and then change its color to yellow. So once you are done with the yellow, it still doesn't have that shape. Now go over here in this effect options and you can see different effects including shadow, reflection and 3D format. In the 3D format section, you can see the top P level, change its width from 0 to 10 and then you can see the effect. So you can see that if you increase it more, the color varies and it will look a bit more different. So if you want to increase the depth, you can cl click here and you can see how does it affects. Now there is another thing which is called lightning. So if you want to increase or if you want to make it more brighter, if you want to make it less brighter, you can uh, change the angle of the lightning and you can change how, how does it appears. I will keep it, keep it a little bit brighter as shown in the image. Okay, so once we are done with this one, now we are going to go back to the previous slide. As I showed you, we are going to need this one. This is not a copyright free image. You can find more copyright free images online. Now I'm going to place this fire behind this one to give a texture. So double click on this one. Go to crop option, crop to shape, and make sure you crop to a circle. So once you are done with this one, you can see that it looks something like this. Now I'm going to stretch it here, and then I'm going to stretch from here to here, and here to up till here. So once I'm done, I'm trying to make sure that my boundaries are up to the mark, and now I'm going to select it and send it to the back. Okay, so now you can see it has a fill, which is a white color. So we are just going to select no fill. So once you click on no fail, it looks somehow like this. So now if you want to give a more texture to this one, click here and increase the width of this ribbon. Now if you click increase the width, you will see how does it looks like. It started start, has started to give the uh, image that we want. I'm just going to select it and put it on this side. Now the third part which comes is that how are we going to make these ones? Really easy and simple. I have a trick to make these ones. Go to insert options, icons. And then once you go in icons, click here. On the bat once you find a bat you can select this one and choose it as a starting point now this is a bat now i'm going to work on this part so right click and change it to a shape i don't want these uh these extra parts so i'm going to delete delete these ones and i'm going to do it like this now simply i'm going to rotate it 
like this and then simply for my purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to select here and edit points so after editing points i'm going to add another point and make it a little bit fat a bit fatter okay so once i'm done with this one i'm going to make it a bit more fatter and so that it looks like a little bit more uh, rounded in shape similarly i'm going to do for this one and uh, make sure that everyone everything is equal once i'm done i'm going to make sure that all the sides are equal and have same adjustments it looks a bit different so that's a little bit no problem so i'm going to change its color go to uh, more fill color options take a light pink color go here and similarly do the same thing go here shape effects go to the 3d format and increase so that it gives a different look now similarly copy this one paste it here and then make sure that this one is a bit adjacent to this one and then increase its little bit height like this and send it to the back and similarly copy this paste it here and rotate it again here so that they are all together and then send it to the back now once you're done with this one try to make sure that you don't have any gaps in the middle and once you're done with this one you can select all of them and you can group them so i'm going to zoom out a little bit i'm going to select all of them and Control plus g or you can just simply click here and group okay so once you're done with this one our first image is done and now if you want for your convenience what you can do is copy it and paste this as an image so the reason why i paste it as an image is that it makes it easier to copy and paste and also when you are reducing the size and format you don't have to worry for the orientation now we are going to place these image over here i will i've also shown this uh, this tutorial in my previous video if you guys want to check it out you can check it out over there but i'm just going to paste one over here and replace all those on the other side similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the third part which is the which is this shape as you can see here it is a u shape and has some small circles around what i'm going to do for this shape is simply type uh, text box and write u inside make it bold increase the size and what i'm going to do is i'm going to trace this as an image once you're done with this one you can do one more thing which is take a circle put it here reduce the size and break it down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to trace this image you can place it here and similarly go to the this option which is free form shape select here and i'm simply going to select this one and going to trace this shape for you guys and now as you can see that if i do like this and connect to the starting point there is a, a shade over here that means the shape is done and you can just simply bring it here so now just let's just make small adjustment to this shape bring it here uh, make it a little bit curved similarly for this one make it a little bit curved here go on make it curved and this one make it a little bit curved you just have to do it for one shape and the rest shape will be automatically done so that's a good part so once you are done with this part if you want you can make uh, this curvature a little bit round it's up to you or not if you don't want like this what you can do is just uh, work on this part uh edit the points from here which are like this uh okay and after that what you can do is use this image and then copy paste put it here and copy and bring it down here okay once you are done with this one select the shape first and then this one merge shape make sure that this shape is a little bit bigger than this one so that it can easily merge on the whole part and doesn't ha it has a equal uh, rounded edges so once you are done with this one click here click on this one merge sh merge shapes union similarly send it to back now and make the this shape bring to the front and do like this similarly select this one and this one merge shape and union and here you go so this part is also done now what you have to do is same thing applies to this one what you can do is simply click on this one and uh, what you cannot do unfortunately now let's just make it a little bit bigger and like this and shape format shape fill make it green shape outline no outline similarly go here shape effect increase the width and you are done with this part now uh, uh, rotate it a little bit put it here bring it to the front bring it to the front like this i'm sorry just go here zoom in a little bit rotate it like this place it a little bit up and you are done so now this is just this part put this up a little bit and we are done and so uh, the last part concerned is this part as you can see this part is nothing else than a rectangle and a circle so both connected together they make this shape 
and then we are done so guys this part is done once you are done with this one copy that and paste so once you paste it group it okay once you group it now you can easily rotate wherever you want to put put them so now first of all we go here and let's say we put it here so as soon as you have more shapes you can easily uh group them if you want to make it more uh, more faster so copy paste now you have four items group them now simply rotate them and try to adjust them onto the figure and once you are done it's better that you do use lesser ones because it's more easy to adjust once you're done copy paste again and then rotate them again and try to paste them here and so on once you're done with this one i'm going to remove the extra slides extra things here now this is our first image done i'm going to move a little bit here but if you want to give a more better picture more better texture what you can do is you can paste this as an image so remember like i said if you paste it as an image you can easily reduce the size and fonts and once you place it here okay close everything design ideas go to shape fill click on the white part you can see solid fill here and then click on this part now first part is done now you can see the image looks much better right now and it looks more professional okay so now the other part which are concerned is adding these lines and these spikes so go to insert menu take a shape use a line and just simply draw a line like this okay go to the format shape options increase the width to one it's not two two let's make it four and change its color to white once you're done with this one you can just simply place the text part over here okay so that's how you make a coronavirus diagram i know it looks a bit scary and it sounds a bit scary but really easy and simple to make i hope you guys like this video and have watched my previous videos i will leave a link down in the description to make these similar diagrams and have some other videos if you want to check them out i hope you guys like this video i have watched my previous to watch them and till then take care and laugh